Boys, today is a video of the last day of the December bluefin tuna quota in North Carolina. Last day to fish. We got lucky with that big one. It was really, really slow fishing aside from the very first morning of the season. It went by really fast, only six days of quota. It filled up like crazy. We had one more shot to make a pretty good trip, a really good trip. We set out the morning kind of by ourselves and you're gonna have to see what happens next. Go, boys. All right. So I really let Rod in. Come on, where you going? What do you need? What do you need? I got you. You just go the other one, other side. That'd be him. You got it? That'd be him. Get him there, Rusty. Uh, you there still tight, real? I can. Yeah, stay tight on him. There he goes. Good fish. Huh? It's good fish. He's running? Yeah. Yeah, he's running. Okay. I'm on a one cup of three with a six three seven right now. Uh, I'm almost positive it's the right one. That's good drag. I got one motor in here. Again, we're walking them down. Fine when you can. Alright. Hey Russ, these fish will get really squirrely. They'll start charging us, so you just let me know so I can back down if I need to, alright? Okay, he's still trying to take line though. Okay. Should I put this in low gear? No. 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 <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> the last time the last time I heard something like that, Bo was at the marina with me, Alex, and a couple of our buddies. He's like, hey, I'll get the cam hamburger. It's like, uh, can I get that medium rare? We're all like, no. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> That's it, dude. Just go on past. Smile away, boys. Hell yeah. Love them bites. I love them bites, period. Dylan's like, you think I should come? I was like, I don't know. I just marked a herd of fish. I'm tight. I'm by myself. I'm stack a shad off shore me. In shore me. What do you think, Dylan? <laughs> Good choice. I was like, I'm going to let you make the decision what you want to do there, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm by myself. Not funny, but looks like a big slick over here. Nice. All righty. So final morning of the season and uh, we're out by ourselves Johnny had a hunch that there'd be bait in the area and we just really we just started in the same area that we caught our fish the other day and our buddy hooked the fish yesterday evening there's so much bait it's pretty much bait gonna be everywhere and we were by ourselves there ain't nobody within there's a boat within about three miles of us right now but it's heading offshore to the other 20 boats so I don't know. Blessed to get a bite. Second one of the year. Hope we can manage to strap him up. Hello. We'll see. Stand by. Reverse. Going on. Perfect. Nicely done. You good? You ready? Yeah, you need a rest? You ready? Yeah, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, tap, just tap. You're good. I got good pressure on him. I'll tell you when to stop. Tell you, keep on going. Keep on doing that. Yeah. Yeah, keep on coming, reverse him to starboard. Nope. But before we get on with the video, we have to thank today's sponsor, DraftKings. It is my favorite weekend of the year, championship. Sunday, conference championship, four teams, two games, one goal, and that's to get to Las Vegas for the championship game. And I've teamed up with DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL, offering an insane deal of $200 in bonus bets instantly for new customers that place a $5 wager on anything. That's right, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use promo code JOVTFISHING, and the bonus bets are yours. So you bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. What are you gonna do with that? You can combine bets together from the same game or both the games, to get an even bigger payout. Or if you're signed up for DraftKings Sportsbook already, just like me, you can get a no sweat bet. That means you get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay doesn't hit. And if sports betting is not yet legal in your state, you can still join in on all the fun and cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use my promo code JOVTFISHING. New customers get $200 in bonus bets instantly with a $5 wager on anything. That's promo code JOVTFISHING, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. I'm straight vertical. Uh -huh. He's coming to port just there, just be ready. <laughs> Come to port. Come around to the port. Just a hair. Just a hair, port, just one engine and gear. Okay, stop. We got swivel. We got swivel. He's gonna act squirrely here, buddy. Keep on. He's, coming He's just swinging us. The fish is swinging us. You're good right there. Rusty, bring the motor, one motor back that way. Just reverse. No, he's swinging, he's swinging, stop. There you go, you're holding, you're good. He's good. He's, he's swinging. He's swinging around. Hold on. Come, he's got to come up over here. You'll see him here in a second. There's, there's, he's got deep color. He's, he's got still got a lot of speed. Don't move. Don't move yet. Don't move. You're in gear. You're in gear. You're in gear. Oh my god, I'm all messed up now. Reverse. Reverse the port. Okay, it'll beep when it's in neutral. Okay, tap me forward one time, stop the boat. Coming to port, never mind, never mind. Spin, he's doing figure eights. Good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. 
figure eight fish. I can tell you the last time I seen that. You got him. Good shot. Okay, get a gap ready. Get a gap, get a gap, get a gap. Slide it forward. Right here, right here, right here. Stop, no, 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 no. Get a tail rope, get a tail rope. Get a tail rope. Get a tail rope. Hold on, we gotta get the swim hook in. Alright, we're gonna back off this reel a little bit and walk him down. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, I got dart, I got everything. John, John needs to uh, just walk him down a little bit. Good dart shot. Just try it off. Hey, we Will you walk back? him down, yeah. back off the reel? No, go ahead. All right, we're gonna walk to your starboard here, your right. Walk to your right. Here, I got this. Go, go, go on. Okay, undo the tail rope. I got the dart. You wanna hold the tail rope, Rusty? Hold on, let me get you. Here, let me get you. Grab this. All right. You got both of them? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold that. Hey. What a ball. Hey, is he going to fish? Perfect. Good <laughs> Clean from that. We're good. Oh, tie that one up on the stern. Tie that rusty. Fish. How tight do you want? Just a little. Woo! All right, boys. Good end. Good end to the season. All right. Four, buddy. Hell yeah. Good work. Yeah. Rusty. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> Come on, Rusty. Woo. Nicely done. Yes. Awesome. That is awesome. Good way to cap December. Look at that big butterfly. Butterfly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a good way to cap off December. Only two bites in six days, but if you make the two bites count, you're doing a-okay. All right, I'm gonna go through the whole process here. We're swimming this fish right now. What that does, it gets all the lactic acid build up out of the fish's system. Just like after you work out, sometimes you need to cool down, throw in a couple miles, you might want to walk a block or two. What that lactic acid does, it'll literally cook the fish alive. On top of that, speaking of cooking alive, the heat that the fish produces while you're fighting it is so hot that it will literally cook the fish. And I mean, it is very, very, very hot. So to prevent burning and to prevent acid buildup, we're gonna swim this fish for around an hour if he decides to stay alive, which right now, we got a pretty good uh, dart shot in him. And uh, he's not really bleeding right now, so I think we're gonna be able to get a good swim out of this fish. And then after about an hour or so, we're going to uh, bleed him. Do that for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes to an hour, really. Um, every five to 10 minutes going back behind our cuts inside the gill plate and uh, um, releasing those clots so the bleeding is consistent and starts again it'll plot up just like any other animal that will uh, be bleeding so to prevent it from preventing from bleeding you got to go back in behind ourselves and keep on digging out and uh, we're gonna pull in the boat yeah gonna pull in the boat and take him to uh, the fire in that order we're just stretching our lines out make sure they're not tight on the spool you'll warp your spool if you get that line super tight on the uh, super tight on the reel 
these reels are going to be sitting for two or three weeks so we're just letting the line out and reel back on so it's all nice and party when we come back here in a couple weeks yeah, all right we're about 30 minutes into swimming them just hanging out the funny thing is i don't know why we figured out how to catch blue unlimited bluefin tuna so the day that we caught the 119 inch fish we were in a scramble forgot our bait rods which is whatever we had plenty of of uh pogies shad man hated, whatever you want to call them and a couple blue fish and we had a cast net forgot our bait rods got the only bite of the entire fleet today oh yeah and we had a bunch of kingfish the day before on this avet so we had to use the tiagra because it just had a longer leader on it and we like long leaders so the two the only two times that we put a bait on this fish it's had two baits on it and it's had two bluefin tuna bites so we have to use this rod and use this outrigger and we have to forget our bait rods and then we're, it's an unlimited money glitch we got very very lucky again so what's happening today this is the last day of the season the quota they announced no announced last night that the quota is expected to be filled today it's going to close at 11 30. Uh, if you are found in possession with a bluefin tuna not at a buyer by after 11 30 you are subject to federal punishment on a very large scale and today uh it was it's supposed to be borderline on fish but it's supposed to be blowing 18 19 knots right now at about 10 o'clock windy and fish weather and wind finder all say it's going to be blowing steady 20 to 25 knots with gust above 30 knots and it's just going to get worse and worse all day this is just a nice prefrontal bite starting at about 12 it's going to start rapidly dropping temperature so gotta love a good prefrontal chew but we're gonna let this guy hang out a little bit more we got our buddies over here the legendary jackie DeFour hooked up two fish taking them offshore yeah. apparently someone told the entire fleet about this because everybody is rushing into us right now but whatever we were first very very lucky once again i'll take it i'll take being lucky every single day all right we're clearly done for the day so we're gonna give our bait to one of our buddies actually those of you who follow the channel this is uh old bob bob from louisiana's cousin-in-law how about that we're gonna sling him a couple baits Yeah. all right we're just kind of putting our way in it's actually been a really long time but we're about to uh i mean this fish is still swimming super hard like he's been hour and a half at least each tail kick is like a fraction of a penny that our price will go up because that acid's out of a system that's the way i look at it fractions of penny right there but he's good and healthy we're gonna cut in his gills you're gonna cut him right in the side inside the gill even with his pec fin there that's where his lateral line is try to get it on both sides this fish is uh straight up and down so it should be easy to cut both sides and then uh like i said before keep swimming them every five minutes go go in re-clear the clots until uh he stops bleeding a lot probably do that for another hour or so So you can probably just hold this rope right here, John. Oh yeah, open up for me. Good. We're gonna get lightheaded now. Really lightheaded. 
Well, for how hard this fish swam for an hour or so, he shut off pretty quick, pretty much right after we cut him. We got a really good cut on him. He pretty much stopped kicking. His, glows, his gills started to close up. So right now, I'm just kind of, have this gap in him, real, like in his uh, gill plate, right on top of where his lateral line is, where his artery is. Just kind of keeping it open, keeping the water flow good. And it's kind of agitating it on every single bump we get. It wasn't even trickling. It was barely trickling before. And you can kind of see his heart pumping still, but I don't think he's going to be pumping for long. So just keeping it agitated, keeping the blood flowing good. Well, I thought I was filming that, but I was just able to gut him. The fish is still pretty hot, surprisingly, after dragging him that long. Maybe he was kicking too hard. I don't know. But he's gutted and he's cooling down rapidly. Give it a little bit longer and pull him the boat. We'll get this. I'm gonna try to get his heart out. You want it? No, I'm good. <laughs> Take a bite. Just I'm a good. small, just a little nibble. I'm good. Good. Take a bite. Too late. Good. I and you're never gonna shit. catch another one. Oh, <laughs> never ever. We're gonna do the white side down. White side up, that's what I meant. Kind of under the boat. He's under the boat. Okay. Neutral? Yeah. One, two, three! What the hell is that? Butterball fish. Yeah, he's fat. <laughs> oh, okay. Grab that gap one more time, Rusty. Can't move the back. Yeah, that's the first. There she goes. Push her back a little bit. One push her back, hold on. One more time. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Ready? Let's go. Nice. Walk my board, fish. Yeah. All right. Let it fall. That fish. Yeah, I'll take it. No way, as is tradition. I, my initial guess is, well, I think he's 90 on the dock. 90 or 91. Hold on, uh, uh, upper. 
You gotta go over top right here. Wait. No, 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 it's, it's on top. It's on the lateral line. Okay. All right, pull it tight. Seven, seven, uh, 80, 91. 91, right? Nice. One inch off. I knew it. Did I say 90 or 91? I don't know. I was close enough. Who cares? We're all wrong anyways. <laughs> Forward and backwards. Woohoo! Woohoo! Got another one. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, we got another one, Raymond Jane. We're going to take it to the shop. T take it to the shop. Well, take it to the tuna store. Top jaw, correct? Yeah. Or bottom jaw. Bottom? We'll do bottom. Makes us feel better. Yeah, so you can open that door, you pull that pin up, and so you can let the tail lay down a little bit if you need to. 93. 93. 93, nice. Bigger than we thought. Yeah. Good deal. It marks. And our buddies that uh, we loaned some bait to, they caught one soon after. How about that? Good deal. Got decently. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to fill it out, but it's. More filled out than our last fish for sure. All right, fellas, another one on the day. Yes, one. sir, we'll take it. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, it's got it. There's a little bit of stuff left, but I got most of it out. I don't know if we're getting that back. I hope we are. I'll try to get it out. Yeah, please do. That would be appreciated. I didn't realize that we got them like that. You know what you gotta do is you gotta, what you call it? You use uh, like a heavy line. Yeah. Oh, it's not, it's not super deep. I might be able to pull it through. Yeah. Yeah, because I tagged him that way. Yeah. This was the downside. That was the side. I thought we had the dart on the uh, other side. possible if you want to do a core sample with this knife you can keep the knife as well if you want uh we'll do one here in a minute yeah well is there any way you could use this knife while you do it uh yeah but, yeah so, i mean it's a good knife it's brand new yeah 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 feel free Absolutely. to keep it you feel yeah, free to keep gets, it too if you want when he gets the head yeah. off then i'll, I'll do a tail cut yeah. thank you very much yeah, i appreciate yeah, yeah. that yeah it's a good knife too that, that grip right there is g10 it's the same stuff they make gun grips out of oh really yeah it's a badass yeah, little knife that is that feels good yeah that's good yeah Heck yeah. Yeah, feel free to keep it. Are you selling these? Or? Uh, I'm just sponsored by them. Okay. Yeah, that's, I, mean, yeah. I love those knives. 
What kind of blade? What kind of steel is that? Is that I'm not sure the exact the exact steel, but it, I mean it's good. It lasts a while. I cut yeah. a load of tuna with those things in Louisiana. So yeah, so it, yeah. it stays sharp. Good. Yeah, it stays sharp. It stays sharp well, and it, it sharpens well. That's it. It's good with the stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby, she cuts right through. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you may lose this knife. <laughs> no, it's, it's yours. Really? Oh, yeah. No way. Oh, yeah. Keep it. What in the world? For sure. Dang right. <laughs> I love this knife, man. This is like butter. Yeah. Huh? The nine inch yeah. sword knife. S O R D. Man, this is like dang butter, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Sharpen easily too? It does, yeah. That's Sharpens good. easily and it stays sharp pretty well. Is that carbon steel? Oh yeah, I've seen those things. Those look real nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, that's just sweet. Dang, I can do this all day. Yes sir, hopefully you do. <laughs> Get this last day of the season in good for yeah, all. Right? There's a cool breeze. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the front. Good deal. That's sweet. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for everything. How's it look? Isn't that sweet? We swam Very this nice. fish forever. I'm curious to see what this is. Yeah, we swam him forever. Um, and we gutted him in the water. We bled him for. We bled him really, really well. Uh, he was still warm when I gutted him, though. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, he's pretty. He's way fattier than the last one we saw. Yeah, he's pretty a nice looking tail cut. Yeah, he's got some good marbling in there. Yeah, there's some nice fat. <laughs> Best one we've sold in a, in a while. Cool, good man. deal. You want some tail meat? I'll take it. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. Great tuna knives. Yeah. They make serrated ones. They make a seven inch as well, and they make a. I think that's a medium flex blade. They make a stiff and a flexible blade as well. Just right in there, and it's going to really take away from the fish. I mean, that's that's all meat right there. Yeah. That's, that's I got some bolt cutters. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, that's all right. good. Whatever. Alright, we know we're... It's all good. You know how to uh, use the rope? Uh, the rope mm -hmm. yeah. How's the cord? Did you feel the inside? How does it... Yeah, is it still pretty good. warm? Yeah. No, he's good. Let me gutted him in the water. If you're seeing this video, all right, Joe. One of the Ten bucks. <laughs> I don't know. What was the, on it? Or the 90... Uh, 92? 93? 93. A decently fatty core. I don't know. Uh, I don't, actually don't know to tell you the truth. I don't think we've ever weighed one this size. I have flown in and out of Kenner quite a few times. Yeah. Oh boy. Alrighty, what are we going to get? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we got... Three eight. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Three forty four. Three four four. Good core. Alrighty. It's better than no 44. Yeah, that's better than 0, 0.00. Couple fish sold today. Good deal. Now, if the season would have gone longer, would y'all have stayed up here? We had the house till the 14th. Yeah. We're going to stay, but uh, we'll have to see. Thank you very much for the help. Oh yeah. Good deal. Well, alrighty, gentlemen. All right. Thank you for Thank everything. You so Appreciate it. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Nice oh, and cold. Did you like that? Thank <laughs> you for the knife. Yeah, of course, of course.
Yep. All right. There's a wrap for the December season. How about that? Boys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to come fish with me in Louisiana and go after giant yellowfin tuna, giant wahoo, and grouper fishing, swordfish, whatever, uh, all the booking information will be below. Just book my boat, the Sicario. About to be heading back there in a couple days. Very, very sad, but uh, very, very happy to get back fishing and get some more giant tuna content. I do have more bluefin stuff coming. I, I, we have more bluefin video. So if you like the bluefin video, please subscribe. Please come back for more. I love you guys. I'll see you all next time.